Hello, I'm Lucas Teixeira. I'm with the Vision for Robotics Lab of ETH Zurich. Today I'll be presenting our work on aerial single view depth completion with image guided uncertain decimation. Driven by the need for robotic autonomy, many robotic systems use simultaneous localization and mapping, also known as LAM, for ego motion and scene estimation, most often based on sparse maps, as in the example here. The green landmarks in the current view are the only ones with known depth. The lack of depth information between the landmarks creates problems for tasks such as obstacle avoidance and path planning. So the problem that we address in this work is to take such a sparse depth map from a single view coming from a vision-based LAM or LIDAR sensor and use them as seeds to infer the unknown depth in the gray area and create a dense map using learning-based depth completion. As depth completion is heavily underexplored in aerial navigation, in this work we focus on aerial single view depth completion. For learning methods to work well, it's well known that it's needed a lot of data. Unfortunately, today there is not enough aerial dataset with reliable depth information. Using ground navigation dataset for training such as KT dataset does not cover the large viewpoint variability and depth range experienced in aerial navigation. On top of this, sparser inputs make depth completion much more challenging, especially using visual slow input that is 20 times sparser than LiDAR input. And finally, GPU capabilities on board the small aerial robots are very limited. Drone GPUs can be more than 10 times slower than GPUs carried by autonomous cars. So, to address the lack of data, firstly, we developed a simulator that can create photorealistic visual inertial aerial data. And we built 25 different scenes using 3D reconstructed models and satellite imaging. You can see some of them here. So, using this simulator, we rendered 90,000 images at various viewpoints and scales. Simulator and dataset are publicly available online. Looking at the literature of depth completion, there are dozens of methods producing very accurate results. However, to achieve it, today the top performance methods produce multiple depth predictions, which are later fused. However, they require more GPU resources than available in a small aerial robot. In addition, most of them cannot handle highly sparse inputs coming from visual slum. Here we propose a compact network that can perform depth completion and also compute pixel-wise confidence. This confidence map can be used to filter out depth predictions that are probably not accurate. Our network runs in real time on a mobile GPU and also handles highly sparse inputs. The main challenge is how to supervise the prediction of these confidence measures. For that, we propose a loss network that can supervise confidence using a depth refinement network. So here, the depth ground truth alone is enough to learn both confidence and depth completion estimates. Note that the large loss network is only needed during training that is done offboard. Let's look at some of the results in one of the scenes of our dataset, depicting this castle in Switzerland as captured by a drone. In this view, you can see the input image in the top left, the sparse depth input in the middle image, and the output depth in the bottom. In the 3D view in the right, you can see the projection of the depth image in colors and the ground truth in gray. We start showing the results of the state-of-the-art network. The result is good, but there is many outliers, especially on areas with large depth gaps. In contrast, filtering depth estimations using our confidence measurement, clearly most of the outliers are eliminated. Note these are results from a single view. In this graph, we can observe in number the effect of the confidence thresholding across different datasets and input density. For example, if we select to discard 10% of the depth estimate with less confidence, we can observe a clear reduction in error across all the cases. 
Here we show results where the network is trained on our synthetic dataset and without any retraining tested on footage from a video drone. We tested on real data from the public Vision for Robotics Lab aerial inspection dataset. Given this input image and the sparse depth input, this is the depth and the confidence that are computed by our network. When comparing these with the ground truth, we observe that the results are very sensible. The confidence measure is clearly low at areas where the error is bigger with relation to the ground truth, such as the depth discontinuity, especially in the edges of the staircase. We recommend you to pause and observe these quantitative results, which shows that our method outperforms the state of the art. Our method is plot with dots and the state of the art with the axis. The colors denote the different datasets. When training and testing on different portions of the same dataset, our method performs best for almost all density and datasets. Now training on our synthetic dataset and in the NIU dataset and testing on several sequences of two popular public datasets, our method also shows better accuracy, especially in high density areas. To conclude, we propose a method capable of accurate single view depth completion and confidence estimation, able to run on board a standard GPU for drone. It runs in real time, taking only 60 milliseconds per frame on a NVIDIA TX2. The core of our work is a novel end to end training for confidence estimation using only depth data. All our code and our dataset are publicly available on our website and on GitHub. Thank you.